It is the trend and up till now. You, you two, you two uh, will commentate how well the, the pink Galena of Baxter is going to uh, fare against Hron's doom. Oh, and he makes it! <laughs> okay, I'm gonna sit back and enjoy how Hron is going to do that in game. Prepare to fight. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, take care and uh, thank you. Round begins in three, two, one. All right, and let's get fight. started, Rob. Hron on the LG goes for the heavy immediately. And uh, Buxer goes for his mega as well. Hron uh, with the rail. Oh, I guess the close to Buxer eats first damage. Oh, and he misses the important rail, hits the second one. <laughs> Oh, Baxter with a good rocket uh, completely throws Ron, of course, and gets the first frag. Oh, he grinded the bottle boss. <laughs> he has everything in pink. Looks very stylish. <laughs> and with the first frag on the board. Yeah, and uh, in decent position to continue at least the control going already has every weapon in the arsenal yeah also keeping uh, Gron at bay for a clean heavy pickup Gron can get the mega out though not without taking some uh, ticking it's only 12 but this one <laughs> matters more Yeah, yeah Ron now trying to keep his distance, but that's gonna be tough. Oh, good LG from Boxer. Oh! Ron is in a bit of a pickle. Yeah, oh, but he turns it around. I, will not I really oh, felt like. Well done by Boxer to um, quickly get up to speed. Ooh, Boxer gets the second frag. Yeah, he was a little bit caught at that uh, position. Uh, Boxer also has uh, some totem economy uh, building up. Yeah, just needs uh, one more. Oh, wow. Yeah, the opening rocket comes from Boxstar, but Glond just melts him during the reload. Oh, there goes the totems. Oh, great oh, rocket. by Boxster. So well played by Hron is what I mean. Oh, incredible damage from both guys, really. Yeah, and Baxter falling down. It was an easy aim exercise for Hron. He knew where Baxter would land. Oh, they! Wow, how did Baxter get the real? I think right out of spawn. He's doing a lot, but Hron still walks away with the heavy. Baxter gets the mega health, but look at that! Everything is stripped away. He trades though, but uh, yeah, Gron had some uh, help from the heavy behind him, so he has a lifeline. And also gets uh, this light, so he's uh, yeah ready to mount an attack on the heavy. But no! Oh no, Buxter! Gron uh, getting caught by Buxter's LG! Yeah, he, he brought a rocket launcher to a lining gun fight. And he gets so much pain in the back from Buckstar. Just as Gron oh, appears. Oh, Gron hiding in the back. Bad game. Oh, damn. What? How did he survive <laughs> that? He just sends him out of damage tutorial. No. Only 14 health for Gron. Yeah, not gonna survive that shotgun. Both items. Uh, no, a heavy was up. Put on Hron for picking it up. So those rockets aren't going as intended. Well, Hron professionally removing a totem with his face. Yeah, body checking those totems, uh, not really a good idea. Wow. And the rockets from above, from the uh, Buckster, sent Hron is grave yeah and during oh, the reload he just great opening rail uh, during the reload of that previous fight at the uh, armor he just uh, stepped back 
And yeah, use the ledge to uh, mitigate any incoming damage. So clean frag from Buckstar. And yeah, he's getting a full rotation again. And now he's going to have overstack on both pickups. So this is a heavy. Oh, hold on now, it's running speed. Five minute warning. That rocket almost hits. Yeah, Gron needs. Yeah, first to, to, to stack back up to. Uh, his basic uh, health and at least uh, get a light. My light sustains you. And yeah, he yeah, but he sir, we're full control now. Yeah, Gron can't appear at any items right now. He really needs to slow uh, Buckster down. And, uh, yeah, doing a decent job of it, but Buckster is getting some damage in. Perfect timing on that. Yeah, it's. Uh, Although, yeah, I think now uh, Grom has an in on this heavy. If he, oh, he takes the lower, lower position. Oh, that's, hmm. He still yeah, lost out did. on a lot of stack. So maybe if it just waited on the upper position. Yeah, Grom is trying to get an in on stealing any items, but uh, Boxer is having none of that. He's getting timely kills. Timing the items to perfection as well. Well, maybe not this light, but... <laughs> I mean, the major items to perfection. This one, though, not a great position to fight. But he's got the stack to do so. And so, Gron will have to try to find the, another way to get this frag. Oh, greatly done by Buckster, uh, chasing Gran away, almost hits that rail. Oh, now Gran might be trapped here in the corner of the... Uh, not sure if Buxer will chase. Uh, Buxer doesn't, but uh, gets a new on the item at the perfect timing. Oh, now Gran is caught by Buxer, so low. But gets the trade! That's huge for Gron. Uh, as now, at least Buxer doesn't have the weaponry anymore. Yeah, if Gron can get into this heavy, and uh, then we're gonna have uh, some exciting last minutes. But no, Gron isn't able to. And yeah, doesn't have the rocket launcher. Needs to collect it. Yeah, Buxer's control is absolutely ridiculous at the minute. Making the man dub the handler look like a noob. Oh, great use of the HMG there by Buxer. Finishing this frag up. Well, Gron got sent back onto the bridge <laughs> by the LG yeah, of Buxer. At least uh, Gron got himself a heavy, finally. Probably forgot what the major items tasted like. <laughs> and the Gron calls it with two minutes to go. Yeah. So what? what's your assessment of this one, Lacorzinus? Well, I did not see Buxter winning this with such a dominant performance to be honest i thought this was much closer but maybe well he is just feeling so much more comfortable on exile we will see how map 2 is going to turn out after all exile is one of the more new maps if yeah it's the newest <laughs> so doesn't get any newer than that yeah it's the latest addition to the map pool and for this matchup, I particularly think that I like Kron's pick a lot better on this map. Not just because you get 25 health that can also overstack on a kill, but you you are fast. You have the peeker is a great tool on this map because there's no railgun. I just like it all around. It's a uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, BJ is also a good pick on CK. So good picking from both players overall. But uh, I'll leave you to, to cast this one.
But I, I do think Boxer has a really stylish uh, outfit. Yeah, he's he's the Pink Panther for <laughs> a reason. Yeah, I totally I could see know. this on a wedding. <laughs> yeah. Well, I they are going to kill each other, so it's not that romantic uh, today. <laughs> Uh, you never know. There have been Mr. some movies about this kind of romance. Mr. and Mrs. Smith, if, Indeed. if I recall yeah. correctly, were shooting themselves uh. and they were married. So yeah. maybe that's just a spoiler of uh, Baxter and Hron's <laughs> upcoming love story. But okay, jokes aside now. No jokes? Hron needs to retaliate. No, no more jokes. Okay. No, it's, 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 it's all serious business. Oh, and Baxter, is, he's going to lose this one because I just realized he failed to have a pink shotgun. I am disappointed. Prepare to fight. I'm not angry. I'm, I'm just disappointed. Round okay, but let's see what, what Three, the Ukrainian two, usurper, how Zenaku called him in the stream, <laughs> is gonna do. He spawns at the heavy and decides to delay it. And if he delays it for like five to six seconds, then, which he will be able to do, he is... <coughs> Very well able to um Oh, no. oh the rocket so grand pick up what? both items yeah but well if you don't have uh, range just hit long range rockets right uh, that's yeah. all you need to do long, long range roaming rockets or just boxer <laughs> maybe he didn't oh, have uh, lunch and he wants some okay, rockets okay and what i was saying was completely wrong because i had a spectator bug i was following boxer when i was when it was showing me a stroke in the bottom there Okay, so now we see the Thron on my real perspective paying a lot of stack but getting a second frag and this is well, a good start for him. But he definitely needs to keep this pace up if he wants to uh, build a lead that is significant. But Baxter this time, huge HMG damage and the delay is so big, Ron can't contest it. And if he stays too long, he's going to die to Baxter's HMG. But fortunately, he cuts the corner just in time, Rob. Yeah, and uh, the health bubbles appeared to give him uh, a lifeline, but he's still... Yeah, he loses out on the heavy. Oh, he uses the peeker, but... Wow! <laughs> he hurts himself right after he gets out of it. And yeah, worse for where he might even uh, die before the next major item. Yet yeah, he does. He does have the speed, so he might try to uh, do uh, some ballsy play, but... Hmm. It, yeah, it was ballsy, uh, but he didn't nail it. <laughs> well, he, it, uh, yeah, like, like. It, this was like roulette, right? It's either yeah. red or black, and uh, yeah, he didn't. I mean, uh, if he hits the, the nails, then he melts Buxter's stack because he wasn't particularly healthy. But it's such an if with the nail gun, and Buxter's lightning gun wasn't missing really, so there's not much you can do this time. Kron, I don't know how he did so much damage with the rocket, but it seems like he bent them like Beckham. And in the end, he's back in the lead, but he's not really that much healthier than, than Buxter is after all that. And Buxter now, with the heavy, is looking solid. It's lacking some weapons and Kron has definitely the better position. So Kron can kind of deny Buxter's movement a bit at this point. I'm curious to see how well he can constrain him in the red room, and the answer is he maybe doesn't even can at all. And there we go, a lot of damage coming out from the Pika. And this time Horn is not going to go for the upper light. He wants to fight it, and this is a good decision. He completely catches Buxter on the wrong foot. He was looking in the wrong direction, and the yeah, high speed Horn nets himself a fourth frag. And this is great out of control play up until that point from Horn. Oh, and now Buxar was in the same situation. He wasn't really aware that Gron was still plus farting onto him. No, but now, oh, Gron is a little bit early on this one. Buxar releases some rockets, but yeah, he got some lightning tickling mid-fight, so he vaca vacates the area. And now he's well, praying on the spawn of the heavy, but it doesn't appear. He pays for it with his life, losing out on the item. And Gron just plus forwards himself. Oh, the rockets aren't doing the magic this time. Peeker almost did. One more projectile. And there's bye bye Buxter. But the Duxter gets away, picks up a huge amount of health for seeing how, how weak he was. And he set up a great trap catching Kron with the HMG. And Kron has to retaliate and fall back. He's nowhere near 
and can't punish any item pickup that Buxter did, did right now. And Buxter is just charging full on, using his deck advantage. What? Then, but he overdid it. The die. It wasn't the. What? What? <laughs> but how? Hmm. Yeah. What's this? That's twice of Gron stack though. <laughs> this is so unfair. <laughs> but did Gron win that fight or Buxter lose it? Yeah. It was just so amazing rockets from uh, Gron. He will lose out on the heavy. But, oh, uses the speaker again to great effect. Point you have to pick up. He, he, he is on the lifeline. A very small one, though. Mega Elf, eight seconds away, and uh, Buckster gets lower. Half. Oh, he still shows his face, but doesn't overstay his welcome. Yeah, I think Grom is still uh, pretty healthy. Yo! <laughs> wow! Buckster! Yo! Wins the lightning gun fight, but he's so weak after it. Yeah, he was floating through the air after taking the jump fight. Yeah, and Kron seems to definitely get a better start and a better idea of how he approaches this in terms of rotations against Buxter. Yeah. This, though, was a little bit of... Yeah. Mm. Mm. I... <laughs> Interesting, though. <laughs> Standing on the item with 23 HP. Yeah, he, he... I'm not so sure. And he gets punished right away with another frag. But also, that fight at the Boneyard, he was still trying to hit the mid-air or something. Well, he just needed to use a finisher weapon because got he gun, got gun. true. And now there is a, a lifeline for Buxer to get back in this one. But yeah, well, I'll say it. Uh, Gron just chases Buxer away. And well, Buxer doubles back into a lot of LG. Releases one rocket onto Gron. But I don't think Buxer uh, has enough time to uh, do anything. On the heavy pickup from Gron. Yeah, he might be able to punish him now as the statue of Goroth often is a death trap, but no. It might be spell death for Buxter, but as he takes Stop huge watch. amounts of damage going through the choke point, but he kills Gron just before the item spawns, and now it's dual wield LG against shotgun and the widening of the model from BJ with the while dual wielding actually almost well not almost killed him. But Buxter has enough of it and rushes in with his pink rocket launcher. Oh, this is dangerous now. Thron is super weak off the spawn and Buxter gets another one and we are on a close game again. <laughs> I just... Wow. Both players just want to go for every major item. <laughs> there is no conceding in their game plan right now. <laughs> Look at this. Uh, yeah, three minutes left. A little bit less, but uh, uh, yeah, right now. I don't, can't really tell who has the upper hand. It's Gon who uh, is having a uh, frag lead, but I don't think he uh, has to control. He takes the Mega Elf, though. And also a lot of damage. I think he has the control now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, he, he, he at least gets the damage out on the Buckster just as he spawned. Yeah, and Buckster is... Uh, he's, he's locked up at the heavy tower when there's no heavy to spawn. This really sucks. Grunt just lets him go as he decides that the Mega is more value for him right now as a frag because he's gonna get the frag anyway. I was wondering why Buxton was pushing towards proximity of the Mega health to pick up the light on. And yeah, I think at this point, with the way Gron is rotating this, and that Buxter has to force fights, he becomes so easy to predict that this is going to be such a huge mountain to climb for him if he wants to make a comeback on this map. Yeah, and I think Stroyant is also a factor in this one, right? If uh, yeah, Buxter does damage before he dies, uh, Gron still gets greeted by uh, 25 health, which is a lifeline. And also a tool that you don't need to shop for those uh, health bubbles before the next fight. And even if Buckster does not do enough damage, uh, Gron even gets overstacked from the strained uh, pickup. And, well, 
the last uh, frag is an air assault. Huh? At least one peak of frag in this series. Yeah, and now? Now it's it's crunch time. And I'm gonna... I would really want to see what's the, the crunchiest of the times. Because on Molten Falls, having the Athena is a, a huge advantage in my opinions, because she is so fast. And if you're capable of doing some nice movements, you can avoid stuff like certain teleporters as well. Yeah, but on the other hand, there's only two lights on this map. So if Grom uh, can deny it, uh, Buckstar is in a world of hurt. Um, if he also loses out on the, on the heavy. So this is an interesting one. It's really uh, movement against burst damage. But yeah, we have seen Buckster is one of the better Athena players. Yeah, Buckster plays are quite a lot and even on smaller maps as well. So it's curious. I'm very curious to see if if it's if it's a great asset for him here or if that just the orb is enough to shut down the pink hooker. True. Jones, are you here? I am here, yes. Oh, I'll leave you guys to this one. Jones, what, what's your take on these this matchup here? It's, I'm not meaning the players, but the champions right now. Yeah, well, Prepare certainly movement fight. versus utility. And, uh, well, but uh, you know me, I like Ranger. And uh, Three, two, if Haran one, plays a good positional game, fight. he should be fine. But Boxer can be a pain with Athena. Uh, and Buxer will be delaying the heavy, which is the meta play on uh, ruins. So about eight seconds delayed, enough time for players to challenge for both. Yeah, but I think the the, the big difference or the big downside is that Kron already lands two rails, and he there is no resource because Kron took the light at railgun, and he pushed Buxer into the railgun, and Buxer now can't even get the mega. Kron, oh, this is huge! Enough, yeah, oh, he botches ah, his damn, he botched Yeah, but movement. Baxter is, is nowhere near anyway. Baxter was so weak, he needs to, to yeah get the poverty items to make anything happening. And it seems like we are not seeing an overcommitment of Kron with the orb yet, because he knows that Baxter will be having the time vial control from the beginning on, because Athena can always pick him up as soon as she has used one hook. Yeah, and also you might want to save that orb to make it count. Yeah, exactly. Just just blow her up when it matters or cut the corner before she gets away to, to land a killing blow. Speaking of killing blows, Buxer is close to get one on Hron, but Hron is just like, okay, if you shoot me with rail, I'm just going to stand here until you go away. And that's what literally happened, <laughs> because now he starts to move again. And it seems like he just wants that light and might be able to shop for an angle on the Mega. No, Still he early. just wants the timing. He just wants the timing. Kron yeah, is a patient yeah. man. Timing is okay. Now he knows when all of the items are. Gets the other light over. Oh, that's, uh, that's a tough rocket. That's a tough rail to take. But he knows what's up, but so does Buxter. Thrashing Gron on that light armor. Oh, great damage from Gron though, Buxter solo. Gets that Mega not in the clear yet. Oh, that was such bad movement that Gron missed. <laughs> if he hit that rail yeah. in the right time, he pushes Buxter off the ledge. And even with an Athena, it could have been a hard task to come back into the map right in time before you die. But anyway, Box is somewhat stabilized stack-wise, and now it's just... Yeah, it's the War of Nutrition again. Whoever f seems to have the uh, opening first has, and the bet will have the better positioning as we see the first full-on fight against these... Huge rail from oh, Gronk. Great rails from both. No way! With 15 HP? 
Oh, that was such a huge play from Kron, and this time we see the orb. And I like that because it nets him a second frag. This is creative use, guys. Insanely creative use. And what a crazy play that was. Denying the heavy and getting a second frag. Thank you, sir. May I that was another? an excellent play to get the heavy and the bubble at the same time, allowing him to have the stack to get the frag. But now Buckster has got a lot of the stack on Gron. Oh, but Gron is uh, elusive to say the least. He will be disappearing as much as he can, but uh, Buckster. Oh, Gron has the spawn. Yeah, he lured. Baxter away from the item, and now we could see Baxter fall to the starting machine gun, but no, Kron goes out right in time to avoid taking too much damage from Baxter's rail. He still has oh, the starting so machine gun as his only long-range asset. Oh, these rockets. It's, it's too close to come for Don't drop, and the orb again used to secure the item. What a huge rocket oh, that was. A if it was in a little bit further, we've seen a trade, but Baxter clutches it out. 61% rail for the Latvian player right now. Oh, he just keeps hitting these rails. It's not even going for the heavy immediately. He wants to maximize uh, the stack that he gets. Um, and that means that now Ron is in a bit of a pickle here, uh, control-wise. And the Boxer realizing that he will protect this light. Ron being fast, um, already on the other side of the map. And there's a light armor for Ron. Ah, too bad he misses the rail. That would have been crucial. And now Ron's extremely low. Buxter should close this one. A good orb. That's a lot of damage from Ron. Uh, Buxter might wanna uh, hide for a little bit. Five minute warning. Actually, he actually doesn't need to. He has the mega as a reward. He's just short, falling short a little bit in the armor department. And with the heavy coming up, he has all the weapons. Ron can't really pick any fight, so. Stop watch. Yeah. Baxter just stabilized the two frag lead, and now it becomes a very hard task for Kron to pull this one back because he will always be the slower one between the two. This is a dangerous bounce pad, but with Athena and the hooks, you can pull it off because you most likely won't get lifted. Anywhere, if you do that. And this is the third frag in advance of Buxter now. Buxter having a huge rotation going and actually so much control that Hron is struggling to find any opening because Buxter is just hitting so much as well. Yeah, and um, it's quite tough for Hron when uh, he can't even get good movement in. Bucks are certainly playing a little bit of a clinic here with Fina. Oh, Boxer leaves the heavy open. That could have been dangerous. Ron won't even attempt to take it. He will just um, stay for the timing. <laughs> Great play from both players. Uh, Boxer a little bit low, but he will get the double bubble in, um, in rail room. Nice rockets. Both players quite low. Oh, Gron could be getting a frag here. I was just saying, oh, no. Boxer should have just cheesed with a railgun, but no. Boxer fumbled his movement, stepped on the bounce pad, and threw it all away. Yeah, yeah but Boxer will be time. fine. There's still time, but I. I don't want to sound too cheesy, but it feels like Kron does not have had the best of games so far on this map. Oh no, and he hits the rail now. Buxter is really worse for wear, and if Kron was a bit more patient, maybe Buxter would have run into him earlier again. But no, oh, there we have it. Leads, I can kill it. And Buxter took her out where there was nothing he could pick up. Stop watch. And then? He was not that much faster, so... Oh no, no, this oh, is too dangerous for him. 
We, don't, we are not going to see a double teleporter play in. This is great use of the orb again. Buxter fumbles the hook, dashes into the door. Of, yeah, the frame of the door rather than the door because there is no door. But, well, and now it's a one frag game in just one effing minute. Uh -huh. Yeah, watch. one frag game uh, with two minutes to go. It's completely out in the open now. And I mean, it's still an Athena, so hit her once, hit her twice, and you can basically all in her. Okay, but that goes for a lot of champions too. So there we go. First rails landed. The second one did not land yet. Oh, and this was barely missed. Krondo has the big game in his mind. Picking up the item, orbing back, and I love that. I really love that. He can now delay this item because he knows where Bucks is, chases him away from it to make the delay so he can get it without the orb. Great play. Oh, he almost caught the Baxter. Yeah, again, and he is, these are so bad misses. The one at the Boneyard as well. This one hits, and this one is a value shot. He one tries to cut one. him off, and he did. He knows where he is, and Baxter is completely silent now. Baxter rather yeah. stays in fights than giving away information and getting trapped. Oh, this is so frustrating. Mm -hmm. Ron as the orb, so now he can get that in. Yeah, there we go. One hook to use. I'm, I'm not sure how much he's having, but this rail could have spelled it already. The orb is being used, and I'm not sure if he better oh, would have no, waited with it after misses. the teleporter. But no, he misses again, and now he's in railable territory himself. And Buxer, and now I'm saying it seals the fate of this map. Kron is saying Ron it as well. The GGs. Baxter clutched it out barely. One or two more rail hits from Kron would have knocked and out Kron Baxter. will be playing Pasita in the winner bracket finals. Pasita beating Ennessy. Baxter will be playing Pasita. Yeah, what I said, right? I don't know what you said. <laughs> yeah, Baxter I, I, will be playing I, I Pasita. Kron. 